So today we're here at Sodic. Now, Sodic across the industry is typically known for their wires and their sinker EDM technology, but they have some really powerful milling machine tools as well. Today I'm gonna to be talking with Tom Hip, their additive and HSM manager, and he's gonna be showing some of the machine tools and some of the technology that Sodic has. Morning, Tom. Hey, Jesse, welcome to Sodic. Thank you. A lot of beautiful machines out here in the showroom. Can you tell me a little bit about what you guys do, the industries you support, and the machines you have here? We have our wire EDM machines, we have our sinker EDM machines, and we have our high-speed mills. Also, we have our additive manufacturing machines. All of the machines here, you'll see, these are all based on linear motor technology. So no ball screws? No ball screws here. So on the additive side, I assume, take that part out, it can end up on one of your high-speed mills, and then you're using Mastercam there as well. That's correct. We can use Mastercam for secondary operations on our high-speed mills and with our additive. Well, can we take a look around? Absolutely. Let me show you around here. Awesome. Jesse, come on into our additive department. This is an LPM 325, and I'm guessing, based off of that green tin on the glass, this is a laser behind it. Yes, it is. This is a metal manufacturing 3D printer. This part was made on this machine? This was, yes. So we made this part on the LPM 325, and then we took it over to our high-speed mill, and we milled half of the part. That way we could show additive on one side and the results of milling it Excellent. on the other half of the part. So what is that feature on the bottom? This is representation of conformal cooling that we can grow right on the parts. So that wouldn't be a precision feature on that part, right? So it doesn't need to be remachined. That's exactly right, yeah. So we can just leave that to where it's grown, centered, surface finish on it, and that's it. Well, you guys do a lot of really neat stuff here. I, I really want to check out your EDM area. Okay. Absolutely. Let me take you over there and uh, introduce you to Kaz. Excellent. Let's go check it out. Hey, Kaz. Hi, Jesse. How are you? Good. So I know a lot of people out in industry, right, when they hear Sodic, they think EDM. Why is that? One reason is got to be our linear motor drives. You're not going to get that wear and tear that you would see on a ball screw machine. This is actually our newest eye groove machine. So you got that wire rotation unit that everybody's talking about. And then our step cut technology is included. Excellent. Of course, we can program this with Mastercam. Exactly. It's fully compatible, makes our workflow very, very easy, and then easy setup in our NC unit as well. So Sodic doesn't just do wire. You guys do sinker as well. Yeah. Let me take you over to the sinker. All right, so this is an AL60G, and I notice that it's got the linear motor drive on it. This is our linear motor driven sinker machine with our SP controller. So from a Mastercam side, when we talk about sinker, we're really talking about the electrodes. We need Mastercam in order to make that graphite electrode and transition in. We need precision, so Mastercam along with our UH's precision makes that happen. Excellent. Well, I'm gonna go back over to Tom and check that out over on that machine. Awesome, thank you. All right, so I was just over talking to Kaz on the EDM side, and we were talking about electrodes and machining them on your machining centers, your high-speed machining center. I'm looking at this part here, that electrode and graphite, and just the finite detail there. I mean, it must have been some tiny tools you were using. Yeah, we went down to half millimeter on this part here. This part was made on our high-speed mill and programmed using Mastercam. I also see you've got a hardened stainless part here that we've worked on previously. I think this really sums up the precision that the Sodic mill has. To get in there with these tiny microscopic little features and have the control over that end mill, is it's incredible. Yeah, we went down to a half millimeter also on this part. So I, I can't help but notice that this isn't a control that I see out in the marketplace on other machine manufacturers. Right. This is a, a Sodic LN4X control. It's all made by Sodic. That's a complete system. The control and the machine were built, engineered, and designed together. That's correct. Really impressive stuff I've seen here today. And I'm, I'm really excited to see what our partnership holds moving forward. It's been really great. Thank you very much for coming, Jesse. See you next time. Take care.